Over the past 20 to 30 years, plastic has come a long ways. Now we can actually use 3D printers to print various types of products. But is the plastic that's used in a 3D printer tough enough to withstand the combustion pressures and temperatures of a small engine? Today we're going to find out thanks to Terry from Southern Manitoba, Canada, who sent us a couple of cylinder heads and a couple of gaskets. So we're going to be testing both of those to see how they hold up. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. I'm still going to have to tap the spark plug hole, but that should not be a problem. Look at these gaskets. This is going to be a lot of fun to test these out to see how they hold up. Beautiful. Look at this cylinder head. So the purple cylinder head is made of ABS plastic and it weighs 12.7 ounces. This cylinder head is made of PLA and it's very clearly heavier, very heavy cylinder head. Wow, almost a pound, 15.8 ounces. Now in the past we've made other types of cylinder heads. This is a JB Weld cylinder head. It's smaller in dimensions, but it weighs 11.5 ounces. It's very dense. This held up very nicely. This is the reigning champ of the wooden cylinder heads. This is some walnut. It lasted over two minutes. And you can see it's only 5.1 ounces. Very light. I need to tap the cylinder head, so I'm going to use the drill press to get the tap straight. Then I'll remove it from the drill press and finish tapping it. Wow, this plastic is very easy to tap and it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and put a spark plug in the cylinder head. This spark plug worked really nicely with this cylinder head. You can see the tip is sticking out. This is gonna provide a really good source of ignition and it's not gonna be recessed inside the head like some of the wooden cylinder heads were when we tested them. I'm going to use a Briggs & Stratton gasket for the plastic cylinder head testing and then we're going to use the plastic gaskets on a metal cylinder head. Since this is a plastic cylinder head, I'm going to go ahead and set up a ground for the spark plug. The reason the engine stopped running is because the plastic melted all over the electrode on a spark plug, causing it not to function. So I'm going to clean the spark plug off and get this thing going again. Unfortunately, the spark plug ended up having a lot of plastic get into it again, causing the engine to stall. We're going to pull the cylinder head off now and see how it looks. Wow, that's a lot of damage. This piece of plastic looks like it came right off of the valve. Look at how much damage, though, is done around the spark plug. 
This here is hard plastic, it's melted plastic. The piston was hitting the plastic as it was melting, causing that knocking sound. So this plastic changes color. It was purple and now it looks like it's more of a pink, almost a light red. I'm gonna put a piece of ice on it and see if it changes back to purple. Check that out. It's purple and now it's gonna gradually go back to pink. There's a lot of plastic buildup on the intake valve as well as the exhaust valve. So what I'm gonna do now is use a wire brush to clean all this off so we can begin the next test using the other cylinder head. I'm going to start with the new spark plug and I'm going to go ahead and create a large gap just to avoid plastic causing it to fail on us. So the electrode on the spark plug was just fine. Unfortunately, it looks like the plastic melted around the spark plug and the spark plug blew out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cylinder head off and we'll see how it looks on the inside. Now that's a lot of damage. The plastic melted and found its way to the bottom of this cylinder head and then of course then was banging up against the piston. Ultimately the engine stopped running though because the spark plug blew out. There's a lot of plastic on this piston and on the intake and exhaust valves. I'm going to try to spin this engine over and see if these valves are sort of stuck. I heard it pop. It's very stiff. Wow look at that piece of plastic that's on this valve. Looks like this plastic is coming off fairly easy. It had an oily coating on it from before, so it's coming right off. Now we're going to test out the 3D cylinder head gasket with an aluminum cylinder head. As I expected, the failure occurred right next to the exhaust valve, right where most of the heat is taking place. Well, I'm really impressed with how the 3D printed products performed, especially that ABS plastic lasting a combined a minute and 23 seconds. While the PLA only lasted 17 seconds, I was really impressed with the initial compression reading we got. Obviously, it's holding a nice tight seal, but it just can't handle the heat. So very strong material, just very sensitive to heat. The gasket lasted over a minute as well. Very impressive performance. I can see where having a 3D printer in the shop would be very handy for making most gaskets that aren't exposed to a lot of heat because it would work really well. What other video ideas do you guys have? I always like to read your comments and I get my future video ideas from you. Thanks so much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.